What's up guys and welcome back to the shop. So today I want to discuss different types of fretting procedures and share some of my experiences and how I started. So enough with my face and let's begin. So like most of you people, I fretted my first neck using a hammer. This hammer, to be precise. Hammering frets is cheap, but the disadvantages are much more than the advantages. First off, hammering is very noisy. For some of you like me who have a home workshop, this could be a big issue. And the bigger issue is the risk of hitting the fretboard while hammering down the frets. An upgrade to this method is to get a small brass hammer like this. A smaller hammer is much more precise for this kind of work. But still, there is the risk of hitting the fretboard. So later last year, I decided to upgrade my fretting work. And I bought myself a fretting cowl from Amazon. And it came with a couple of inserts too, with different uh, radius, 14, 7.5, 16 inch, 12 inch, 10 inch. It came out as a set. I bought this fretting cowl with the idea of using it on my drill press. A little pro tip, if you, like me, like to take care of your tools, please don't install frets with this cowl on a drill press. So with that failure aside, I looked for other alternatives. And then I bought this F-clamp, which I converted it as a press, like so. I did one neck with this system, and it worked in a way. It wasn't a smooth procedure, but it did the job. But I didn't imagine myself fretting like this all the time. It was a bit crazy fretting with this F-clamp. It wasn't as smooth, as I said, it wasn't a smooth job. So I looked for another solution. And the other solution was to get one of this. This is a generic arbor press, which I converted to a fretting press. A bit cheaper than buying a specific fretting press and I really wished that I have bought it earlier. It does the job quick and easy. I did two necks so far with this press and it took me more time to set up my fret bender than pressing the frets in place. So my suggestion for you guys if you're planning to do a one-off guitar, you can easily go with the hammer method. But if you're looking to build more than one guitar, then I suggest you go with the fretting press. Okay, guys, that's it for today. I hope you liked it and learned something from it. If you like this video, hit the like button and maybe even considering subscribing to my channel. I post videos related to guitar building and hit that notification button so you know the next time I post a new video. So until the next time, take care and bye bye.